Hello everyone. You probably know that Home Assistant is a super popular tool for automating home. And the good news is RoomSense IQ works seamlessly with it. RoomSense IQ sends a lot of information about your room occupancy and other environmental factors to Home Assistant. So you can set up all kinds of cool and helpful routines for your space. It's a fun way to save energy and make your home more comfortable. RoomSense IQ communicates to Home Assistant over Wi-Fi using MQTT protocol. And I'm here to walk you through the process of bringing them together. So without further ado, let's dive in. In this demo, we use Raspberry Pi 4, which runs Home Assistant 9.5. That is the latest version of Home Assistant at the time of recording this video but the process should be the same for other versions and installations. Although it is possible to use the main admin user for MQTT communication, it is recommended to create a new dedicated user with no admin permission, just for safety purposes. To do that, first we need to enable the advanced mode. So if you go down here to the profile and then scroll down to advanced mode and we can just click to enable it, then we go to settings and to people, click on user tab, and then down here we can add a new user. So we can pick up any name we want. I just, for simplicity, I put MQTT, the same for username, and we just choose a password. I keep this item off, but up to you if you want to enable it and then press create. So here you go, we have a new user that we're gonna use it for our communication to the device later. In order to connect RoomSense IQ to Home Assistant, we need to install an MQTT broker such as MQTT Mosquito on Home Assistant. To do that, simply we go to settings and then we go to add-ons here we search for MQTT Mosquito Broker. So we select that and then press install. Once it's done, we can enable the watchdog and then press start. So now we're back to settings and then we go to device and services. And here we see this MQTT card. So we go to configure, press on submit. And if we go here again, we have to reconfigure this card to be able to set it with the username and password we just created in the previous stage. So here on the username, we put MQTT. That was the username we created in the in the last stage and then here we put our password and then go next we get everything as default here we go down and then press submit here you go so now we set our MQTT settings to be able to talk to the same user that we had before now we go back to integrations as you can see Still, there is no entity identified by this card. So at this stage, we need to go ahead and set up our room sense to be able to connect to Home Assistant. Upon power up, RoomSense IQ creates its own hotspot Wi-Fi. We use it to set the Wi-Fi credential as well as MQTT user credential that you just created in the previous step. For this demo, I use my phone to connect to the device. So to do that, we go to the Wi-Fi section of your phone, and then here we select RoomSense IQ. We put the password for just simplicity. The default is password. And then click join. And then when it's connected, we open up a browser and then we go to this IP address of 192.168.01. 1. 
And then here you can see there is a form that we can fill about the Wi-Fi connection and MQTT settings. So we go ahead and put our home Wi-Fi router credential here. The same for password. And then we tap on connect. It shows that it's connecting. And here we go, the connection is successful. So we get the, all the IP address and all the networking information here. So later on this part, we do the MQTT setting. So we put the uh, MQTT credentials that we just created um, during the previous demo. So here we go, MQTT, it was the username. And then we put the password. And then here, submit. So once it's connected, it shows the message that it's successful and it's connected to the MQTT password username that we created. So if the Wi-Fi setup goes correctly, here in the integration tab, we can see that the core mosquito card was able to detect 50 different uh, entities throughout the discovery stage. Now to see the details of all these entities, we go to the overview in the dashboard, and then here we click edit dashboard. We can enable, you know, empty dashboard option, and then we take the control. It allows us to add new cards to the dashboard. So here we go to the add new cards. And then by entity, we click on entity and here we can filter entities by the name of Brown Sense. So as you can see, all the entities that comes from the sensor has a specific uh, name format that all start with room sense and then dash and the name of the variable here. So to have them all on the dashboard, we can select them here and then click continue. And here it shows the list of all the entities and then we click add to dashboard. So here we go. These entities are actually the values of all the sensors, uh, like the M millimeter wave radar sensor, which generates occupancy information. And there are temperature, humidity, and light density, PIR motion sensor, and so on. As well as some controls to set the same point values and other settings. I won't go into too much details here, but in another video, I show you how to can create a beautiful dashboard containing all these cards and control using a open source a repository we just created for RoomSense device. And you can just copy and paste those um, scripts to create the dashboard. So till then, goodbye.